Welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be breaking down this e-commerce SEO strategy that the very popular Wayfair.com uses. For anyone that doesn't know who Wayfair.com are, they sell a lot of home furniture and outdoor furniture. They are competitors with some of the likes Ikea, Amazon, Bed, Bath and beyond as well out in the States. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. So we're going to be breaking down their SEO strategy and we're going to go over how they've been able to get over six and a half million keywords ranking and over 14 million organic traffic every single month to their website. So I'm going to be breaking down fully how Wayfair have actually broke down certain subsections within their website because I feel like that's very important going forward and also how they've structured their blog as well. So if we look at this diagram here, as we can see here, what they have done is they've obviously got their homepage, which then links to subcategories. Now, what I mean by subcategories is they obviously sell hundreds if not thousands of products on their website but what they've done is they've actually structured their website very well one thing you'll find when you look at their website is that they have a outdoor furniture section on their website they have a kitchen furniture section on their website they have a bedroom furniture section on their website that's how they've structured their product and category pages however one thing that is super important as well is the blog section another section that has grown tremendously in traffic is the blog section on Wayfair and we'll go over this in just a second but I want to highlight how important a blog section is because what they have essentially done is they have created articles like how to renovate your kitchen under three thousand dollars and then they will link to certain products that they have so for example they might be selling kitchen cabinets or they might be selling kitchen worktops and essentially with that guide it drives a lot more traffic to their product pages which obviously leads into more sales so now that we understand the full seo structure of this website i'm going to actually show you the live website and how it actually formulates together so as we can see here we're on the home page so if we look at the categories at the top as we can see here we have got outdoor furniture bedding and bath so if we click on outdoor we will then be presented by a subcategory so hot tubs saunas and pools and then we can click on hot tubs so this will take us to the dedicated hot tubs page where they might have 20 or 30 different hot tubs that they actually end up selling. Now one thing that's super important about what Wayfair have done here is that they have went very very granular with their collection pages so as you can see if we go back to the outdoor section we have got outdoor as the main category but under the outdoor category we then have all of these different and again in some cases we have sub sub categories as well. Now does this mean that your website will need this? Probably not. If your website isn't anywhere near as big as Wafer, you might not need to go as granular as Wafer have done. However, they've done a very good job of categorizing their products into subcategories and sub sub categories as well. So it makes it very, very user friendly when somebody is trying to search for hot tubs or if somebody's trying to search for outdoor heating, they're very easily able to find the fire pits, for example. Now let's take a look at some product pages as well, because their product pages are actually really good and a lot of people can actually learn a lot from this. So if we take a look at propane fire pits, 32 inch outdoor gas fire pit now what they have used is a modifier keyword a 32 inch outdoor uh, gas fire now, for example, propane fire pit, they could have just named this product the propane fire pit and they didn't need to put all of these different modifiers. So as we can see here, they have got 32 inch, which is one modifier, outdoor gas, which is another modifier and 50,000 BTU steel, which is another modifier. So the reason why they've done this is because if somebody is searching 32 inch outdoor gas fire pit on Google, they're very likely to actually show up. And I'm going to show you this as well. So as we can see here, they are ranking position number five for 32 inch fire pit so when I was talking about the modifier before having all of those separate modifiers within your product pages helps massively let's take a look at this diagram here and let's say that we have just set up our e-commerce website and we have uploaded a black shoe now what a lot of people would do is that they would be happy with this however we haven't actually included any modifiers so when I say modifiers is this a black men's shoe is it a black female shoe is it a shoe for kids is it for running formal wear sneakers What's the model number? Is it for wide fit feet or is it for flat feet? So you have all of these different modifiers. You just need to do a little bit more digging. When you have more descriptive product titles, essentially Google will fully understand what that page is about and it will rank it higher for that specific long-term keyword. As we all know as SEOs, long-tail keywords are way easier to rank for and it is the core foundation of your website. What you want to be doing is setting up your foundations with all of these product pages. The product pages should be going after really long-tail 
little keywords and it's the foundation of your website. So in time, what you might want to start doing is ranking for the primary keyword of men's running shoes, which might be a keyword difficulty of 80 or 75. However, once you have a load of these product pages where they are super descriptive, they are getting traffic, they are getting clicks, Google will then be able to trust you more for those keywords. So another thing that Wayfair do very well of is that they have some really good descriptions of the product. So if you actually click over onto the description, as you can see, they have got a lot of unique SEO optimized content. So as we can see here, they have mentioned the 50,000 BTU, they have mentioned that it's 32 inch fire table, and we also have weight dimensions. They've went into detail with a pictured diagram of the 32 inch fire pit and what the height and overall product weight is as well. So from a specifications point of view and also from just a product description point of view, they have done a lot of things right. Now, one thing that they could improve upon is actually their internal linking. I'm not seeing that many internal links in their product descriptions, if any at all. So from a, an improvement point of view, they could always go down that route as well. The third section of this website, which is the blog section, as we can see here, it gets 100,000 traffic value and 258,000 organic traffic every single month. As you can see, they have been able to grow up very, very well over the past two, three years since 2019. And we're going to just take a look at some some of the keywords that they are ranking for. So if we take a look at their top pages within the actual blog section, as you can see here, they have spread out their traffic very, very well. So as you can see, 3% of their traffic comes from a toilet dimension guide. Another 3% comes from the type of bulbs page. And all of these blog articles are internally linking to products that they actually sell. So if we take a look at one of these articles here, so this article here is talking about the type of light bulbs, how to choose the right one. As we can see, it is a full long guide talking about the different types of lights, LEDs, CFLs, halogen. Now this page is a informational post, however, it does link to their product pages. So the user journey of somebody actually landed on this, they might not know what type of light to buy for their kitchen. They will have a quick read on this article and they might decide that they want to buy some lights. So they can click the shop LED light page and they are presented with hundreds of different LEDs and they can pick which one is the best for their kitchen or for their bathroom and they can very quickly buy and purchase the product. So the whole purpose of these informational blogs that they have been building out over the last two or three years is that they get a lot of traffic, they provide value. However, the value that they provide, they can also monetize with because they are actually selling those products. So as we saw there, they have got article talking about the types of light, but then they actually have internal links to all of their lighting pages. So this is another article that they have got. It is a how-to article article and it's all about doorbell wiring for beginners and as you can see it is a guide on how to wire in your new doorbell but they also internally link to all of their doorbells as well. So they have got wired doorbells, they've got battery powered operated doorbells. So someone might want to click on this and purchase a smart doorbell instead of a wired one. So as we can see here very quickly, you are understanding the thought process of the actual blogs. Now, one thing you never want to do is neglect the blog section of your website because the blog section could be some of your highest performing pages every single month, especially when it comes to organic SEO. Some of these these articles are getting 7,000, 8,000 traffic to them. So for example, the toilet dimensions page is getting around 7,000 traffic. The light bulbs page is getting 7,000. They also have an article talking about sofa dimensions, which gets about 6,000 traffic every single month through to their website as well. Now we've just covered three different types of pages. We've obviously just covered a guide or a how-to article, which would be top of the funnel. Now the traffic that you could get from top of the funnel pages, they might not always convert. So when I was going over some of the numbers there are 7,000 traffic. There might only be 500 or 600 people actually looking to actively buy a light bulb or a sofa. Middle of the funnel would be somebody that is searching for a hot tub. They know that they want a hot tub. However, they don't know exactly which model. So for instance, your category pages would be middle of the funnel. Then we have bottom of the funnel. Bottom of the funnel would be product pages. Product pages that you have specifically optimized with all of your modifiers. So when somebody is searching for men's white marathon running shoes, they know exactly what they want and they just want the best price. In this case, Wayfair have covered all three sections, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and also bottom of the funnel. And you also need to make certain
concerned you're doing this on your e-commerce website as well. Now that we've actually looked at their on-page SEO, now let's take a look at their off-page SEO and what they are actually doing for that. This is a random article that I've picked up. As you can see here on a, it's ranking for over 2,000 keywords and it's getting around 1,400 traffic a month to this page. Now, this page is specifically talking about fish tank sizes and how to choose the right aquarium. Now, this is what I would call a link bait article. They have created a really good long form informational article and they've been able to acquire a lot of backlinks through to this page because of how useful it is. Now, what they have done, which is really smart, they have been able to link to all the different aquariums. So for example, 41 to 60 gallons, 61 to 90, 90 plus gallons. They are basically repurposing the link juice and the link power that's come through to this page, through to pages that are bottom of the funnel pages. So for example, as what I was mentioning before about the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel, this is obviously very top of the funnel style article. However, what they have been able to do is they've been able to push the link power down to pages that they actually do care about that does generate them more money. So if we take a look at some of the backlinks that they have been able to acquire, if we click on backlink, as you can see here, they have got a lot of websites that is specifically talking about fishing or aquariums and it links to their aquarium page. So for example, aquaspace.ph, this is a website that is specifically talking about aquariums, fishing, what, and it obviously links to the aquarium page. So from a link building point of view, they aren't doing anything that special. However, they are being very, very crafty with how they produce their articles because this is a link bait style article, which does generate them a lot of of links every single month and they have been able to repurpose the link juice through to pages that they want to rank higher for as well. So from a link building point of view, it's very smart and strategic and I highly recommend you guys do this for your websites as well. So that's been my Wayfair SEO e-commerce video breakdown. If you want a free 15 minute strategy call for your website talking about organic traffic and how you can grow your website, remember to check out casual where you can book me out for a free 15 minute call.